What's going on everyone? Juice Bags here, and welcome back to some Dungeon Defenders 2 in another Defense Spotlight. Now ever since the new and improved Onslaught has become a thing, we have all been having our trials and tribulations with Frost Mobs. A big problem with Frost Mobs are the Frost Orcs, which do love to just freeze up all of your ground traps and any defense that are just close to them. Now this makes the frost enemy's natural counter, which is fire damage, less effective than it should be. Now, flamars and flamethrower towers, of course, are awesome against frost enemies. However, the frost orcs are going to just freeze them right up. Now, for those that aren't aware, frost enemies do take double damage to fire damage. So if you could do fire damage to the frost enemies, it's going to double all of the damage that they take. Now, the Protean Shift update and the introduction of mods has allowed us to kind of broaden our horizons as far as what we can put fire damage on. Now, as a general rule, I don't use fire very often as fire does remove oil from any oil targets. However, with the situations like frost enemies, it is just a natural. One of the easiest go-tos against frost lanes right now is without a doubt the Skeletal Ramster from the Abyss Lord with a little bit of fire. Now I'm not talking about the uh, Abyss Lord's new mod as that seems like it's actually not spectacular for overall DPS. I'm talking about adding the fire element to your Ramsters themselves. Now these are not general use Ramsters, these are 100% just for frost lanes. Now I'm not using Ramsters all the time. However, every frost lane that I encounter now, I always have at least one ramster on it. Now, one of the challenges we've had in the past with frost lanes is the DU restrictions. If we look at most maps, every single map in the game, you've got at least 180 DU to spend if you were to split all the lanes evenly. Now, three ramsters in a lane, of course, is only 150 DU. Now, three Ramsters will melt any full Frost Lanes, assuming there are no other non-Frost mobs in the mix. Uh, three Ramsters is just Beast Mode, and it allows you to build out a lane without spending a ton of DU. Now, let's go ahead and hop on into the Ramsters themselves and see exactly how you build it. Now, number one right at the top, Fire Servo. Of course, Fire Servo is a must, I also added Anti-Frost Servo in the mix. Uh, Anti-Frost Servo is going to give me even more additional damage. And remember, all fire damage is doubled. So just without the Fire Servo, Frost Mobs are going to be taking 147% damage. That is going to get doubled once again by using the Fire Servo. Now I've got Defense Range on the mix as my third, and I'm actually way over the range cap, but I did have quite a few decent range shards laying around, so I figured I'd throw those in. The Ramster's range does cap out at 5,000, which you can get to fairly easily. You're not going to get there with a Gilded Deadly Strike Shard. However, with a range mod and just a normal Deadly Strike Shard, you will be able to get the job done. Now, in addition to this, I am using Defense Rate and Destruction, as really it is the trifecta of shards in the current day and age, defense rate, destruction, and deadly strikes. The most important thing, of course, is once again getting that fire servo and fire damage on there. As you see, I'm using a really low, low quality uh, fire servo mod. However, it's still giving me the double damage and I'm still able to wreck things up. Now, once again, this is not a general use ramster. If you throw this in non-frost lanes, you're not going to be putting out the adequate amount of damage. So it's best used in frost lanes only. And remember, it is an AOE tower, so it hits up to 10 targets at once and it can just completely defrost any frost lanes that you encounter. Uh, it does very, very nice DPS. As you see here, we're averaging you know, 900,000 to about 1.2 million on the dummies. Remember, that number is more than doubled versus Frost enemies, where we will get its full maximum potential. Say so you have a controlled burn lane, should not be a problem because you can take those three Ramsters and add in a Poison Dart Tower and you've got controlled burn resolved. 
say it's a heavier lane with lots of other mobs in the mix, or say it's a, a um, spellbreaker lane, throw in a cannonball behind it, or pop in some explosive traps, and uh, get some physical damage to go along with the already massive frost damage, or pardon me, fire damage, from those ramsters. Now taking a look at the ascension, you'd want to follow the basic builder ascension rule, where first off, first things first, gotta have that crit chance. Um, when you hit ascension 60, you should have 20 points into your defense crit chance. At ascension 60, your 20 points in the defense category, 100% needs to go into defense speed. After there, any ascension you get in defense should go right up into ramster damage. And then after defense crit chance, you're going to want to go to defense crit damage. And then finally into the ramster range gambit. So ramsters with fire without a doubt can be a huge addition to anyone's builds. Uh, remember frost enemies taking the double fire damage is just massive. And the ramsters give us a way to apply that in an AoE fashion from a nice range away, so Frost Orcs are really no longer an issue. So that will do it for now, thank you very much for watching. Click that like button and please subscribe to the channel, I will be back soon with more Dungeon Defenders 2. Thanks again, I'll see you next time.